What's going on YouTube? It's First Year Review back in here for another video. Today I got something that a lot of people talk about and tell me to get and I've never gotten until now just because I was passing it as I do and that is California sandwiches. Yes, so California sandwich is a sandwich place I guess that has a bunch of different sandwiches. They got steak, chicken, veal, which is what this is and like a bunch of other things. I didn't really take a look at the menu. I seen they have penne and lasagna. Next time, I'm getting penne or lasagna because those are delicious. I don't want to take too much time here, so let's get into it. Boom. Look at that. It's upside down. Real sandwich. Let's go in for a bite. Mm. That's a good sandwich, actually. Never really had veal too often. This is good. Yeah. I wonder, this is like, this is a Canadian restaurant or a restaurant in the States. Maybe this is big in California, who knows? It's called California Sandwiches, so. good how's your guys day today that wasn't too bad got up ran around and got some food in my last video I talked about how I was gonna see Babylon and my next video would be a review in Babylon However, the show timings for Babylon weren't the greatest, so I decided to see something else. Instead, I went to go see Megan. So, I've been a bit out of the loop with the movies that are coming out recently. I didn't actually know that Megan was a movie until like the day that I went to go see it, right? Which was yesterday. I thought that I'd be able to go see Babylon and that was it. And I didn't think any like new movies really came out. But I seen Megan, I'm like, hey, what's this? And then I seen it was made by director James Wan. It was produced by like Blumhouse. And that's the same, like uh, James Wan's the same guy who uh, made like Saw, Conjuring, Malignant, like a bunch of other like, really good movies. Needless to say, he's one of my favorite uh, horror directors, right next to, uh, I mean, I guess Jordan Peele is a horror director, but I don't really want to put him in that category of horror because like I feel like his movies are so much more than horror next to him and Ari Oster who's also coming out with a movie this year called what's it called I don't know but it's got Joaquin Phoenix in it I'm just saying, there's nothing in this. Just veal and sauce. But yeah. He was supposed to go on a movie called Disapp Disappointment Boulevard. I guess it's the same movie, just renamed, so. Anyways. Megan. Mm. Do I like Megan? You know what? I did like Megan. I thought Megan was a good movie. Now, wasn't necessarily what I expected because I kind of went in the movie blind. I watched a bit of the trailer just to see exactly what it is, but it was a pretty good movie. The thing about new age horror movies is they're not really scary. Like, horror movies can be good, but they won't necessarily be scary. Like, for example, Conjuring, incredible movie. Absolutely spectacular movie. The first one especially did not scare me at all. However, we'll start with the cons for the movie first, and then work to our way towards uh, the good thing about the movie. But let me just uh, let me explain what the movie is about first. So, basically, Megan, 
is a movie about a girl who loses her parents and she has to move in with her aunt and the child's having kind of a difficult time coping with the loss of her parents while living in this strange house so what the aunt does is make a doll but it's not just a doll it's a robot or a toy to sell right it's some it's a next uh it's like chat gpt but inside of a doll it's an ai that's hyper intelligent and can do spontaneous speech and do a bunch of things that toys and robots can't even do now right and then in regular fashion the doll or the toy starts to become evil and like hurt people and kill people all that stuff right i don't think it's it's not really a unique story but it's a bit different in the way its execution was Because when I think robots going rogue, I think Terminator or a robot. I think of a household toy just going around killing people. Its main objective is to protect a kid. I don't really have any bad things to say about the movie. In all honesty, like I liked it. It was just at some points it was goofy. Like things would happen, and it was just like it was goofy. Like for example. Doll attacks the kid in a forest. Instead of running at him, like running at him regularly, she goes on all fours, like the thing, and starts running at him, like like a dog or like a bear or something like that. Now, I know if you're in the moment and some robotic toy is running at you like that, or say you're in a dark hallway and something's running at you like that, and you can't exactly see what it is or don't know what it is, that's freaking creepy. But in a movie where you know it's a toy and you're seeing it, it's like, come on. And sometimes when people get hit or like killed, it was kind of goofy. For example, there's a point where the dolls are dancing and I'm just sitting there in the theater and I'm just like, why is she dancing right now? I don't know, she's like whimsical, but, but it might just be a part of like her coding or like how she is because she is a she does like to sing, the doll does like to sing. So. Well, it is a con though. I don't think it's a big enough con for me to be like, oh, this movie sucks. Like, get me out of this movie right now. I actually enjoyed it. I thought the uh, the child actor did a pretty good job acting. Even though at some points the acting wasn't that great, the child actor did a good job. Um, the doll was creepy. Like, if you saw that in real life and you saw how this thing interacts in real life, you're gonna be like, no, I don't want this. Like, no one's paying $10,000 for this thing because this thing's creepy. It's pretty good. It's a lot though, but it's pretty good. And you could tell after a while in the movie, especially nearing the end of the movie, the doll starts to become more human-like, right? It becomes evil and is able to do all these things like hack systems and things like that, but it becomes more human-like. And what I mean by that is the doll, for example, at the very beginning kind of has like robotic speech and then as the movie goes on, the doll starts to speak more fluidly, not completely, but like it becomes more fluid after a while. And that's the same case with the movement of the doll too. So at the very beginning, the doll kind of starts to move, but in a robotic manner, like you know, like kind of stuttered and lagged in its like movements, but at the end when it starts like, like murdering people and killing people and all that stuff, you start to see that it's, it moves like fluidly, like it moves like a regular person, especially when it starts dancing, it like moves regularly. I thought that was a pretty cool, a pretty cool touch that shows that like computers are always learning and it can start to cross into reality or it can start to cross into like being actually human, except with like more strength, for example, because it's a bunch of titanium or metal and with hyper intelligence because it is a computer. I'll tell you right now. I 
I love technology, but I wouldn't want technology like that. Like I wouldn't want a robot assistant that can like walk around and be like, here's your mail. Let me walk the dog for you. Here's some food. Because at some point it's gonna start replacing so many aspects of your life that you're gonna have like nothing to do. And you're gonna be like, huh, what do I do in life now? Like, I don't need to walk the dog, that's taken care of. I don't need to do this, that's taken care of. I don't need to do this, that's taken care of. It's like you kind of lose purpose or meaning in like your life or day-to-day -day activities. And I wouldn't like that. But I do think the movie was good. It did, it was unique, it was different. As different as it could be. Um, I think it was executed well. I think the doll was creepy. I didn't think it overstayed its welcome. It clocked in like an hour and 42 minutes. There weren't anything too bad about it. It wasn't the most amazing movie because it is like a horror movie. Unfortunately, and it's not a horror movie like Sinister Conjuring. It's a it's a horror movie like any other horror movie, right? Just a bit of a different concept. But but what I have noticed is these past few years, horror movies have been getting good, like really good. Like for example, Black Phone. I love Black Phone. I'll probably just do a review on Black Phone just because I like Black Phone that much. I thought it was really good. I thought that concept was different too. I think the child actor in that movie did a good job. I thought it was really different. The fact that he could like speak on the phone and he could talk to the children and then those children would like help him escape, but not just help him escape, actually just help him kill the guy. And that in turn will help him escape. I thought it was really good. And I thought Megan showed how like people's dependency on technology and the advancement of society can be to our detriment to some uh, degree, right? Because having technology is good, but technology is supposed to help us. It's not supposed to replace us or everything that we do in our day-to-day -day lives. So like I said before, it takes out the meaning of it. And it could come back and really cause co problems for us and there will be consequences for us. I thought that was really good. The cinematography in the movie was pretty good too. It wasn't anything outstanding. Honestly, I didn't think there's any shots in it where I was like, oh, this is crazy. This is good. This is that. This is this. But it was good enough for me to be like, oh, this is interesting. The deaths in it. Like when she killed the old lady, I was just like, what? Wow. I did not think a host had that much pressure to it to send an old lady flying across a cabin. A lot of it was like super embellished, but you know, that's that's just a part of the horror genre. That's just a part of the, like the movie. That's just a part of like the fun. It was a fun watch. I'll give it that. Um, I'll probably give the movie like, hmm, probably like a seven and a half out of ten. And I would also give this food a 7.5 out of 10 too, because it's pretty good. It's just a lot. I'm not going to finish it, but I thought this was really good. And I thought the movie was really good. It's definitely not a movie I'd go and watch again, but it's definitely a movie that I'm not, I don't regret watching. It's definitely a movie that I'm like, yeah, this was a good watch. Like, I'm happy I watched it. Maybe not happy I watched it at Babylon, but I'm happy I watched it. I do want to come with the Babylon reviews. I want to come with a bunch of movie reviews. And I want to come up with a bunch of music reviews, anime reviews, show reviews. I just like, I love reviewing stuff and talking about those things, right? So that's kind of what I want to do. So, but, but that was California Sandwiches. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. I'll also give the movie a 7.5 out of 10. It was really good. I really liked it. There wasn't much to it. It's just a veal sauce and bread. <laughs> so it was very like a one-dimensional taste. But it was like a good one-dimensional taste. I've been into it and I was like, this is good. Um, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything helps. Leave any comments down below of any topics you want me to talk about if you've seen megan leave a comment down below let me know what you thought about it right and leave any suggestions you want me to try in the gta i'm down to always go get the food and try it and follow me on instagram at first review peace